Welcome to Miss Shawnee Said It. I'm Shawnee Allridge, and we're going to discuss all things real estate. So sit back, sit tight, and let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Washika Mitchell. We are back with Miss Shawnee from Miss <laughs> Shawnee Said It. So Shawnee, yes. what are we saying today? What are we talking about? So today we're going to discuss two things that we find that people get confused quite often, okay. which is inspections and appraisals absolutely <laughs> this is a good topic <laughs> yes and it's really good because you know last night you and i were talking mm -hmm. and so but i got a text message from one of my past clients and she was asking me if i if my dad still did appraisals okay and so but my dad has never done appraisals he's been a home inspector in mm -hmm. the past and he did her home inspection and so really she was wanting to know if I knew anyone who still did home inspections, but she got home inspection and appraisal mixed, mixed up. Mixed up, okay. Yeah. Which a lot of clients do. You know, they don't, yeah. sometimes they don't know the difference. They don't know if they need them or not. The importance of them. Yeah. 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 So, so I was like, oh, <laughs> this is a good topic. This would be a fun one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that once we're able to kind of explain to everyone what the difference is, on, you know, then now you're, you're more educated as a home buyer or buyer of a building. So now you can move forward with that confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shawnee Allrich, President and CEO of Trinity First Realty Services. We cannot wait to work with you. Go ahead and connect with us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We can't wait to connect with you. So yes, let's talk about, you know, in detail, the difference from an appraisal and an inspection. Okay. So an appraisal is a report that you receive from a licensed professional that's going to give you um, a lot of data, data from, you know, that particular area of town about that particular house. And it's going to have at the end, you know, the value placed on it. And so you'll find it to happen a lot when you're financing the particular real estate, that particular bank wants to know, Hey, what is the value of this particular asset? Because they don't want to pay for more than what it's worth. So that appraisal report is very, very important when you're financing that real estate, which is completely different from an inspection. An inspection, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, so to your point with the appraisal, um, you know, typically a lender is not gonna give you more money than what the home is worth. And right. as a buyer, you shouldn't wanna pay, you know, too much more than what the home is worth. Or at least not know yeah. what yeah. your home is worth. Right, I yeah. mean, you wanna have an idea. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so then when we think about a, an inspection, the difference between yeah. that one and an inspection, um, whereas a, an appraisal is going to look at the value of your home, mm -hmm. an inspection is going to look more at the condition of your home. That's it. So that's somebody that's going to come in. They're going to take a look at, you know, what condition is the roof in? How is the plumbing? How is yep. the electrical <laughs> work? You know, so that's something that you definitely want to have done. And we always recommend, you know, if you're purchasing a home, you definitely want to get it inspected. Mm -hmm. Even if it is a new construction, uh, there may be something that the builder skipped out on. So you, it happens. Mistakenly. Yeah, right? they're human. So it happens. Right. So you definitely want to do your due diligence with an inspection. Um, I was telling Shawnee last <laughs> night, we were talking about this. There is a house a couple of doors down from mine. And yeah. I think you know that house. Uh -huh. it, it burned to the ground a couple of years ago. It caught on fire in the middle of the night, burned to the ground. Um, sat there for a few months and then someone purchased it. They rehabbed it mm -hmm. and, you know, renovated the house. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful well, on the outside. <laughs> it's beautiful on the outside. And on the inside, too, I'm not going to lie. It is a gorgeous <laughs> home. Um, however, it, it sold and the buyer apparently did not get an inspection because huge electrical problems mm. so he had to end up getting the entire house rewired because whoever did the electrical work during the rehab did not do it correctly mm. so a lot of times you have people that know how to do things yeah but do they know how to do things the correct right, way right right so um especially if you are buying something that has been renovated or fixed up um or like i said with anything you want to you want to get all. it inspected yeah, yeah. like you wouldn't go and buy a car unless you had, well, a used car, unless you had some sort of, you know, the information facts. about, <laughs> yeah, what's going on with it, like <laughs> some data. And so like with the inspection report and the appraisal report, it's a pretty report, mm -hmm. easy to read. Inspections have like photos and all these super detailed. 
Yeah, and uh, you which, read through it. Which is one thing that I, you know, I've had clients like, oh, this is a lot of information. <laughs> but it's good information. It's information that you don't think of that you definitely want to know. They check for leaks. They want to make sure it's properly insulated. You know, when it gets cold, you yeah. don't want to be, you know, too cold. I mean, they inspect every single thing. So it's definitely, it's <laughs> yeah. definitely worth it. You know, purchasing oh, a home sure. is a huge investment mm -hmm. and you don't want to, you don't want to do it the wrong way. So right. yeah. Right. And you want to have the proper expectations. So just know when you decide to pursue a real estate transaction, uh, there will be an appraisal involved and an inspection involved um, because we are encouraging you to understand how important it is. Okay. You can choose to not get an inspection, um, but we try to encourage but the likelihood of you saying i don't want an appraisal that's going to be slim to none because if you are financing that bank wants to know the yeah. value of that asset if you're buying a cash um it's then your prerogative if you right. want to have an appraisal in place to determine at your own what, risk yeah, yeah. <laughs> most so, cash buyers don't don't want to do an appraisal because yeah. You know they're going to do something else with the pro the property anyway but for somebody that's an owner occupant and you finance and you're financing it and <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to get it appraised yeah i am washika mitchell with trinity first realty services if you're in the market for a new home make sure you give us a call we are your homegrown neighborhood specialist you can follow us on instagram twitter or facebook or you can go to trinityfirstrealtyinc.com we look forward to working with you. Well, hopefully <laughs> you guys got some information that you can utilize today. Yes, you now yes. know the difference between an appraisal mm -hmm. and a home inspection. <laughs> you know how important they are, the difference between the two. Yes, you're so smart now. Super smart. <laughs> so um, we're hoping that it gives you some confidence when you're going into those real estate transactions mm -hmm. um, that you know a little bit more now than you did before. Yeah. And, okay. you know, consider us a resource. You may have other questions. Definitely get in contact with us. You know, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's Trinity First Realty Services, Inc. So just Google us and you'll find um, how to connect with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And consultations are free. We have a network of appraisals and inspectors that yeah. we work with. Yeah, so we, we won't steer you wrong. Okay? <laughs> At all. Looking forward to meeting with you soon.